All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, hope you're all well. So it brings me great excitement and pleasure to announce to you my brand new signature pickups with bare knuckle. This time we're doing some single coils. These are the triptych single coil pickups and I couldn't be more excited, proud and honored to get to collaborate with Tim and bare knuckle once again. So in this video, I wanna show you uh, some basic tones as in straight into the amplifier so you can hear just the, the sort of dry sound of the pickups. And then of course, I'm gonna mess around with my pedal board that I've got set, set up down here uh, and just mess around and show you some of the tones you can achieve with these pickups. So I thought it was worth giving you a little heads up before we get into the tones. The first thing I wanted to say is that for the purpose of this video, I've swapped out my scratch plate on my Strat to a plastic scratch plate because Believe it or not, the sound of an aluminium scratch plate, as you can see here, actually affects the top end of the pickups. I believe it acts as a capacitance, maybe? I don't really know what the right word is, but either way, uh, for the purpose of this video, I've swapped it out uh, for a plastic uh, pick guard because 90, 95% of you guys that are gonna pick these pickups up are gonna be using uh, a plastic pick guard in your, in your sort of S-type strat or whatever you wanna call it. So I figured, I didn't want to um, color the sound of the pickups in any way, shape or form other than just using my guitar into my amplifiers. So I figured that was the first thing I'd let you know. The second thing is I just wanted to talk really quickly about the pickups and the idea behind them. I really wanted to get a kind of early 60s kind of tone out of the pickups because I really like players like Philip Sace, John Mayer, Matteo Sassato. These guys all use the same kind of strat tone. You know, there's obviously guys like Stevie Ray Vaughan who kind of pioneered that tone, I would say. And, you know, guys like Philip Sace and even, even John Mayer, for example, absolutely went after that kind of sound. It's a kind of spanky, twangy, scooped almost, sort of woody sound, I'm using all the different words to describe this. So I really wanted to create a set of pickups that kind of referenced that, but also wanted to create some pickups that were gonna give me enough support when I use high gain, because one of the things about strap pickups are that the, the bridge pickup, for example, is a little bit too twangy, especially when you're using a lot of gain. 
uh, in the kind of music that I like to play, like the Totemist and things like that, I really like to slap on a load of different overdrives, fuzzes, all sorts of stuff into these amplifiers in particular, the Krakens. Uh, and sometimes bridge pickups can be way too twangy, way too sharp and a little bit sort of shrill to the ear and it's, it's not very nice to listen to. So I, I kind of explained that to Tim in the way that I said, you know, I really want a vintage kind of 60s, early 60s kind of tone out of the pickups, but also I want them to support the heavier side of what I like to do. Um, and he had a really cool idea, which was to add zinc plates to the pickups. So if I flip this over, you should be able to see and I'll do some close-ups, but the bridge, uh, the bridge and the neck pickup have a zinc plate attached to it. What that essentially does is widen the magnetic field of the pickup. Rather than giving more winds to the pickup to get more output, it provides a little bit more output just based on the magnetic field that's enhanced by those zinc plates. So it's a really interesting approach to getting more output from the pickups in a way that gave me more dynamics um, rather than it just being a case of winding them hotter because I didn't really want that to be the case. I wanted to be able to achieve those, you know, early to mid 60s vintage kind of tones, as well as being able to, you know, play harder and with more gain and get more aggression out of it. So I really liked the idea and we, we messed around with maybe four or five different sets of prototype pickups. We've been working on them for quite some time, such to the point where the Totemist record that I did uh, with, with Liam Keeley, that was all done with these pickups. And the track that I did to launch the, my signature neural plugin was also using uh, these pickups. They've been all over records and recordings that I've done. If you're wondering why there was no zinc plate on the middle pickup, we did try that, but I actually preferred it without. I wanted a little less output from that middle one. And also I found that it affected positions two and four in a way that I personally didn't want it to, having that zinc plate on there. So we popped it off, and I actually think it sounds better without that zinc plate on the third pickup. I like the fact that it's thickened out, the bridge pickup, and it's given the, the neck pickup a nice amount of body and warmth. But now you've heard the pickups sort of straight into the amplifier, now what I'm gonna do is mess around with my pedal board, uh, and then you're just gonna hear a bunch of different tones, reverbs and fuzzes and overdrives and all the rest of it. So you can hear how these pickups work, in all different contexts, whether it's ambient playing, heavy playing, riffs, you know, all that kind of stuff. So let's check it out.
just wanted to say a huge thank you to Tim and the guys at Bare Knuckle for once again wanting to collaborate with me. I think it's mental that they want to, but they do. So I'm really, really grateful and I'm, I'm super happy that we finally got to this point that I can talk about my triptych single coil signature pickups from Bare Knuckle. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the tones. Please like, subscribe and share, of course. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Links in the description if you want to go and check these out. And of course, I've been Rabia. I will see you all very soon.